Hi, this video will show you a trio of new spectral layers features that work together to give you more speed, power, and control than ever before. And here they are, dynamic spectral processing, non-modal process dialogues, and presets. Okay, listen to this clip. Okay, now we need a process open to show the new features. So here I'm choosing the Unmix Levels process, which is also new in Pro 9. This new process splits a sound into two layers based on a user-selected amplitude threshold. And we have a dedicated video that explores this new process in depth. Now when I click on the new preview button, you'll see dynamic spectral processing in action. Okay, here we go. Here, you can see the playhead following the audio across the spectral graph. It's a fluid, real-time experience, during which you can hear as well as see the effects of spectral process parameter changes as you work. Now I'm previewing the low-level signal by repeatedly hitting the spacebar while changing the threshold parameter setting at the same time. Simply click OK to execute the process. OK, let's solo the low-level layer. And here's the high-level layer soloed. And of course, even after the process takes place, both layers can be played back with zero artifacts. Now I'm free to process the new layers in any way I like. Dynamic spectral processing is available in all processes, even VST plugin processing. Let's try some processing on the soloed high level layer. First, let's hear it in bypass mode. Spacebar to preview. And I'll switch out of bypass mode and preview the effect. Okay, this tape delay plugin's settings are all pretty much maxed out. All I need to do here is cut some low end and it'll be good. Okay, we can do that and monitor the changes as we go. Dynamic spectral processing in action. It's really great. Okay, now here I'm taking the high layer out of solo mode so that I can audition both layers at once. Okay, take one step back. I was able to unsolo a track with the process dialog box open. And that's the non-modal process dialogs feature in play. With the VST process dialog open, I can make changes in the layers panel like I just showed you. And in fact, I can work anywhere in the interface. I can make changes up here in the display panel. I can use the selection tools. Here I'm changing the selection that will get processed by the plugin. And of course I have access to all the top menu options and more. Okay, back to our sound. Now finally, let's apply the process. I'll take the plugin out of bypass mode and perform the process. Now I'll put the plugin back into bypass mode and play the result. Solo the unprocessed high level layer. And now here's the processed high level layer. The original full mix. And finally the processed mix. The loudest parts of the sound got crunched, but the softest parts were allowed to remain unchanged, so we're able to retain the shimmer and brilliance of that, which is great. The new dynamic spectral processing functionality, along with non-modal process dialogues, give us more control over the program so that we can make the best, most accurate choices faster in a better-than-ever workflow. Now I'm taking you all the way back to the very beginning. Here's the unmixed levels dialogue again. Earlier, I chose a threshold value of minus 37. 
I can save that as a preset. Process and Tool Presets are new in Spectra Layers 9. The addition of Process and Tool Presets is the perfect complement to the new real-time preview functionality. Start with a default or custom preset and work from there as you monitor process changes in real time. Save reference presets as you work and use them as touchstones on your way to the perfect process. In addition, fully configurable tool presets with lots of default options are now available to help get you to the right tool settings faster. Spectra Layers harbors an unmatched collection of manual, automatic, and AI-assisted tools and processes. You can shape these processes in real time while retaining open access to the entire interface. The new feature set comes together as a whole to significantly boost the productive capacity of Spectra Layers across the board.